Hey, what's up? It's your girl Kia, and we have a ton to discuss on this morning's Moke in the Morning Weekend Recap. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's just say Cardi B is not a role model. Goodness gracious. I cannot even believe this is trending on Twitter. Cardi B actually posted a very inappropriate picture. I mean, it was, let's, let's, I'm not gonna lie, of a couple, a cartoon couple doing a 69. It was fully graphic. You could see all the body parts, all the spit, everything. Like, it was a graphic photo. She posted on Twitter saying that this was her effing move. I don't wanna be a role model. I never wanted to be a role model. I wanna be me. And ever since I got famous, I haven't been allowed to be me. And that is, that's fair. Cardi, that's definitely fair. Considering how she used to be three years ago to compare to now, she is definitely toned down and that's not what she wants to do. So, hey Cardi, I'm all for you being you and everybody else who thinks it's okay for your, your kid to look up to Cardi B as a role model, I'm calling child services. All right, next up, Kodak Black. This human shit stain is back in the new, back in um, trending because he's trolling, but I think he really meant what he said and he can't take it back, even though he's trying to backtrack and change it and this and that. But he actually said on IG Live, well, of course he was high and on lean and probably drinking, that he would give Lauren London, um, Nipsey Hussle's widow, a year and a half, actually no, just a year, before he tries to holler at her and get with her. Now, this is highly inappropriate for multiple reasons. Nipsey Hussle has only been dead a week. Um, Lauren London should not be looked at as a prize to get now that she is single, and not even single by choice. If she would have gotten divorced from Nipsey or they broke up, then Kodak Black's comments are fine. But this man was brutally murdered in front of his own store. So for him to say that, it's just so inappropriate. That's number one. Number two, Kodak Black, on what planet do you think you can get with a woman like Lauren London? You... You look like a burnt up, that burnt up doll Angelica used to, remember Angelica from Rugrats, remember that doll she used to have? He looks like a black version of that. He did get on um, IG and try to explain, and that explanation went absolutely nowhere. He basically said that, well, what I said was that she's a beautiful woman, other guys are gonna be trying to holler at her, why shouldn't I? That's not an explanation. That's not a reason, that's not even, that's, that's nothing. That's just a bunch of word salad you threw at everybody. So, bye Kodak Black, I hope you enjoy your short, short lived career. Paul Pierce used to play for the Celtics. Basketball people, we're talking about basketball. Well, he went on ESPN the other day and said that he had a better career with Dwayne Wade. Everybody knows who Dwayne Wade is. And of course, Twitter dragged him to Twitter jail hell for saying that. Um, he actually got put him in his place on the show on ESPN by Jalen Rose, who compared Paul Pierce's career to um, Dwayne Wade's. And it was pretty abysmal. I mean, Paul Pierce has one ring. Dwayne Wade has three. Let it go, you're not better than Dwayne Wade, you never will be. Chris Evans, Captain America, super sexy. He is actually starting his own political website. This is a pipe dream, but I think it's great that someone like Chris Evans, as hot as Chris Evans, is actually trying to make the political space a little bit better, so I'm all for it. Hopefully it works out for him, I'll check it out. Tucker Carlson from Fox is beefing with Chris Hayes and Kid Marrow and Jesus Nice from the Showtime um, show, Jesus and Marrow. Um, Chris Hayes is Jesus and Marrow's friend. <laughs> Tucker Carlson said something really inappropriate about Chris Hayes, and now it's blown up into a Twitter beef that just makes no sense. Like, this should not be a beef <laughs> for all four of these people. A geek, a white boy from the Bronx, and two, a Puerto Rican, a Dominican guy from the Bronx, and a black guy from the Bronx all beefing on social media. It's insane. Aquaman is on demand. Definitely go and check that out. Green Book is also on demand. Please, please go check that out. My mom actually had to sit through it um, last weekend, and it was really, really good. So definitely watch that. If you're going on Netflix, the second season of The Adventure, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, that's also out. Um, if you are on HBO, The Nun just came out. It's really scary. I don't do horror movies, but if you do horror movies, it's definitely right up your alley. Oh, on Netflix, Kevin's Irresponsible um, Stand-Up. That's also out. Check that out. It was really funny. I watched it yesterday. I, I died laughing. My husband actually hates Kevin Hart, so I had to watch it by myself. So I love you too, honey. Um, the second season of The Tick is out, and it's much awaited season. It's supposed to be really good. I don't get into it, but I think I might check it out after reading some of the reviews. And last but not least, that's everything. Oh my God, I got through the entire weekend recap. I will check you all out on Mocha in the Morning Show that will be airing on Friday at 10 a.m. And if you want any further descriptions of anything I talked about today on Mocha in the Morning Show, make sure you check out my channel at Kia Shakur, Kicking It With Kia.